Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Let's hop right in to this week's video. Y'all see the scrunched up part right here? All I'm going to do is cut just below it. And also just above it. If you don't want to cut the straws one by one, you can pair multiples together to save yourself some time. I'm placing my straws in the desired shape and then gluing them together. Now I'm adding two extra straws on each side of my shapes. I'm using this candle to help me glue my straws in a circle shape. If you are going to recreate any of my projects, please use a stronger adhesive so your projects can last over time. I already had this clear Christmas ornament on hand and all I'm going to do is put the gemstones inside. This is the inspiration photo that inspired me to create today's DIY. As y'all can see, it retails for $28.99 on Amazon.com, but I paid less than $5 for mine. Although this looks pretty good, I would use wooden dowels in replace of the straws just because the straws are not that sturdy. For project number two, I'm just placing my straws in a square shape and then gluing them together. Now I'm creating two more of the exact same size. I made two for this side and now I'm going to make two more for this side. This is the bottom piece and these two pieces are for the sides. I don't know if y'all can see this, but the bottom pieces are not straight. So I'm making sure that the straight side are facing upwards. And of course, the sides with the visible glue on it will be facing the inside. I'm adding two extra straws to fill in the gap. I 
I noticed the spray paint wasn't sticking to my last project, so I'm using this clear acrylic sealer that I purchased from Michaels a while back. I'm placing this candle holder right in the center that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm placing this other candle holder right on top. Now I'm taking some of this felt roll and I'm going to stuff the box until I get to the top. I added the rhinestone sticker in the middle and the jewel border stickers on the sides to give my project some more detail and I love how it turned out. Comment below what y'all think. Okay, so for project number three, this is my desired shape for the straws. This is the other set of straws that I will be working with and I'm just going to add more straws to make it bigger. I had no particular pattern, I was just placing the straws anywhere. Next, I'm using this foam board in this 16 inch round tray that I purchased from Dollar Tree. I'm tracing the tray with my silver sharpie and then I'm going to cut it out with my X-Acto knife. I'm placing this wreath right on top and then tracing the middle. For this next step, I'm using some of this vinyl glossy paper that I purchased from Dollar Tree as well. I'm cutting a few inches away from the foam board so that way once I apply it, I can just tuck it right under. I'm just tucking it under for now and then I'm going to add glue later. I'm still making sure I cut a few inches away from the foam board. Of course I wish I was able to cut it all in one setting but that's okay because I'm going to make it work. I know it's looking a little crazy right now, y'all, but trust me, the ending results is amazing. My apologies, I thought I was recording this part, but all I did was cut the center and then I glued all that down as well as the outer part. I'm gluing this piece in the center, but towards the right.
These are the Dollar Tree beaded necklaces, but I had to spray paint them with my gold spray paint to make them match up with my straws. All I'm doing is gluing them on the outer perimeter and also the inner perimeter. I'm placing these blue gems around the inner perimeter and also the outer perimeter. Told y'all to trust the process. Look how gorgeous this turned out. Comment below which project was your favorite for this week.